Hey guys, it's Rushmaw3 here, back again with another update, and today I'm going to be uh, showing a quick haul update as to what I found this weekend at Toys R Us. Finally, I got myself an arachnid. This is the first time I've seen her in about four months. Last time I saw her was in July, and I saw two of them at the store, but unfortunately, I, dot, I did not have any money on me, so I could not get both. And when I went back to the store with my money, both of them were gone, so... From that day, I said to myself, I will dedicate pretty much my life to, you know, finding this thing. And I finally found her, uh, the lonely arachnid on the, pe on the peg, all the way back at a Toys R Us. And here we have uh, First Edition Vehicon, which is a brand new figure. Uh, well, not really brand new, but it's recent re recently released at Toys R Us as an exclusive. And uh, he was only released in Japan and in Asia. But uh, a, and then in San Diego Comic-Con of this year, Hasbro announced that they were coming back, the first editions. Uh, I Actually, they did not have them out on the peg. I saw the case for them above the shelf, and I asked an employee if he could uh, bring down the case for me so that I can pick out the ones to buy. Unfortunately, I did not have enough money to buy Terracon Cliffjumper, but he is next on my list. And after that, I will have every single... Uh, first edition because I do have the Canadian versions of the other ones. So all I need is Terracon Cliff Jumper, and I have all the deluxes that are individually released in U.S. and Canada, minus the Takara ones. Those I do not count because Takara released uh, Megatron by himself, so I'm not counting him as part of my first edition collection because I'm, I'm pretty much passing on the entertainment pack. I might ask for it for Christmas. We'll see. You know, I really don't need it. I only wanted to get the three kids. To go on my prime shelf. Uh, but yeah. And I also have the first edition Voyager set of two Bulkhead and Optimus Prime. Pre-ordered on BigBadToyStore.com. So those should come later this month. Uh, I think I got an email saying that they should be shipping out the 29th of October. So the end of this month. So I should be getting them either on Halloween or a day or two after. So yeah. Expect... Those, I'm also going to be doing uh, First Edition Weekend, which will be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I will be reviewing the First Editions that I have uh, left to review, uh, Vehicon, Optimus Prime, and Bulkhead. So those will be reviewed all in the same weekend, so stay tuned for that. Arachnid, I do not know when she'll be up. As of right now, I just posted today the review for crossovers hulk so you can go ahead and check that out but stay tuned for arachnid and at the end of the month or next month stay tuned for first edition weekend but yeah first edition should be hitting your local uh toys r us oh also if you see them on the shelf in a box it says transformers prime deluxe wave 2 assortment 2 or a uh, revision 2 I got confused with that because I thought they meant the Robots in Disguise Wave 2, but no. They call it Revision 2 because they're counting the re-release of the first editions as a revision case. Uh, because Wave 1 was released only in, in the US, so they're counting this as a revision case. I don't know why, but it makes sense. So yeah, if you see that, it should say Wave 2, Revision 2. And uh, it should be the same for the Voyagers. Should say Voyager Wave 2, Revision 2, or Voyager Wave 1, Revision 2. So yeah, also these will not be in the system. I looked up the price and there was no price for it. It's the same thing for the GDO Asian exclusive one. The price was not in there. So they're going to charge you as much as these. So $14.99 plus tax. Well, that's how much my Toys R Us charges. But yeah. Uh, at first, these will not be in the the system because they just barely came out. So some stores will not have them. Some stores will. But, yeah. And then you, you could always try to trick them um, because you could say, oh, I found them on the Dark of the Moon peg or whatever. Because some stores still have Dark of the Moon stuff on pegs and it's for like ten ninety nine, I think. So you could try to trick them and tell them you found them on that peg. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned for these guys and I'll see you guys next time.